Hello, Driving Intelligence Community. Well, I'm going to combine two of my playlists. One is Home Intelligence. The other one is Don't Replace It, Fix It. I've used Cobalt tools for years. I've got a Cobalt mower, 40 volt. It's lasted me about seven years, and it's given me a few problems that I've been able to fix. But the biggest problem was 40 volts won't go through that zoysia. That grass is like a shag carpet and uh, it's having a difficult time getting through it. It takes me longer to push the mower through there and I thought I, I need to get an 80 volt cobalt mower. I've got several cobalt, uh, 80 volt cobalt tools and I didn't have to add batteries or battery chargers. So I've been looking on places like Facebook Marketplace or eBay for some local purchases. I happen, I happen to find one that cost me $20. Now the reason it cost $20 is that the previous owner uh, had damage to the handle it just disintegrated you can see in the pictures here and they said they actually said you can have it for free if you because we don't know how to fix it we don't know how you're gonna fix it cobalt doesn't sell spare, spare parts you can't find anything for these mowers so I said all right I gave him 20 bucks for it took it home because as soon as I saw it I saw options for it I'm gonna go over those options to uh, fix it because maybe this has happened to one of you as well the other problem that I want to go over in this video is that the uh, the cobalt rear wheels on this 80 volt mower fell off. The bearings completely disintegrated. So uh, there are some some lesser quality, lesser engineered parts on these mowers, but in general, I find that uh, that they last a long time. You just got to do some uh, some repair and some maintenance to it. So I want to talk about what I did to this mower to fix the handle. Uh, which was to me under engineered and junk and also the rear bearings which is also under engineered and eventually failed stay tuned here's a mower that Abe really likes and one of the things I noticed right away that's better than the 40 volt mowers that's the spare parts mower that's my original one that's lasted seven years anyway this deck is metal compared to the plastic so this is a quite a bit heavier and maybe that's why these bearings failed I think the wheels look almost similar to the original rear wheels on the 80 volt mower. That is comparing the 40 volt mower wheels to the 80 volt. But you can see that this, these bearings, this is all junk, junk material. And with all the weight of this mower and pushing it, people pushing it are gonna push it in the ground. It's just putting a lot of load on it. And if you get any moisture in this, because people tend to use these also in the water, uh, these bearings are gonna fail. So I had one fail, I repaired it, it's not perfect. The other one, the wheel just came off after mowing just a portion of the yard. So what I found after measuring were some bearings that can be pressed into the wheels and actually are gonna work better than this original junk. So let's check that out. Here's a good close up again of the bearing parts and, and this is what's the remnants of the handle. And you can just see how cheap and junky this stuff is. Well, that's going away. Here is the wheel and here are the new bearings that I'm gonna put in this wheel. Now, I'm going to link all this below in the description of this video, like I do with all my videos. But the first thing we got to do is pop off this cap. All right, caps off, and you can see the remaining bearing in there. And uh, it looks pretty bad, also. And I don't actually feel any bearing material. I think this one had, is the one that disintegrated. So I'm going to have to press that out or hammer it out so I can put the new roller bearings in there. Here's what's left of that bearing and you can see the difference. This is a sealed roller bearing. So these are going to last a long time. And what I got to do now is press these in. Actually, that one goes in nicely, but the one on this side did not go in as nicely when I tried it earlier. This one's going to have to be pressed in. Got my press set up and you can see I've got a socket here that is pushing on the outer portion of the bearing. You don't want to push on the inner portion because you'll damage the bearing. And there we go, it's in. With the bearings in, I can put it on the shaft and it is a perfect fit. So now I can just put a cotter pin right here. Here are my cotter pins. That'll hold that bearing in. It's not necessarily a press fit. It'll prevent it from coming out. I might want to put another washer there just to make sure that it, uh, it's got resistance against that cotter pin and nice smooth wheel. Ran into a little problem here. Because the hole that the cotter pin goes in is lower than this edge on the wheel, I had to put a little bend in the cotter pin so it kind of sweeps in and back up. Now I can bend the cotter pin and it'll hold it in place.
nice and smooth. Okay, lastly, the, uh, the handle that broke in this section, it, this is simple. I took a big sledgehammer, I smashed this kind of flat, I drilled holes in it. So this is the placement screw that's on both ends. And then this is the one that keeps it from going up and down. So, the, uh, so this is really sturdy. When I put it together, I actually put it on four, all four wheels and then I held the arm at the level that's good for me mowing, marked it and drilled it through. I used some Rust-Oleum to paint it so it doesn't rust. This is solid as a rock. It's better than when it was built by Cobalt.